when we are talking about performance appraisal of international employees uh we are talking about how the performance of an international employee is going to be measured uh in this topic we are going to talk about how to set the performance criteria for or what are the aspects which need to be taken into account while setting the performance criteria in order to conduct the performance appraisal uh we are talking about international employees over here so we are talking about setting the performance criteria for all types of international employees uh and in previous topics we have discussed the type of international employees so those could be expatriates or non standard assignment holders or the non expatriates mostly we, we are concerned about how to measure the performance of expatriates but uh similarly the same type of uh, structures and functions need to be performed in order to set the criteria for other international employees as well so the performance criteria the challenge of setting the performance criteria in the international scenario is much more complicated so uh, the global firms ability to measure an employee's indiv uh, individual contribution to performance and to assess the aggregate contribution of human capital to strategic progress is a complex and timely topic in organizational studies so uh, uh, the to determine the, the performance appraisal process has to determine how much is the person's individual contribution to the organization and how much is the contribution of a particular uh, unit of the organization to the strategic objectives as well as the operational objectives of uh, that organization so it is something which is complex and which requires a lot of uh, strategic thinking uh, the performance criteria therefore have to be specific uh, in order to make them objective and then the performance criteria they have to be measurable so they have to be defined in terms which are uh, measurable terms in which a, an objective assessment can be made um uh, with regards to the goals which are set for the individual as well as for a particular unit uh, but setting the goals is something which is a complicated process because of the various types of goals uh, there are three types of goals and the type of goal it affects how specific and measurable the performance criteria can be set according to that particular goal now the types of goals number 1 are the hard goals hard goals are objective quantifiable and can be directly measured so how many hours worked how many products produced how many uh, contracts signed how many how much sales made um, how much uh, um, uh, production uh, of the manufacturing unit so the number is something which is objective and quantifiable then uh, uh, hard goals are not the only goals which are given to a person or to an individual uh, there are then soft goals as well and soft goals are lot more important than the hard goals so the performance of a person may be top notch uh, the, perf uh, the person may be a very high, a very good performer a high performer but the person may be dysfunctional because of his or her negative nature and because of its toxic uh, nature so it is said that a person a high performer with a toxic nature is detrimental to the organization uh, rather than a less uh, uh, achiever but with a uh, with a pleasant nature with a more congenial nature so the soft goals are also important what are soft goals they tend to be relationship or trait based so uh, the leadership skills of a person the communication skills of a person the convincing negotiation skills all these are the soft goals of a particular job and then there are contextual goals contextual goals are the goals which are related with the environment in which the task or the job is being performed so contextual goals attempt to take into consideration factors that result from the situation in which the performance occurs so contextual goals may be uh, managing the culture of the particular subsidiary unit contextual goals may be developing the network 
of uh, people in that subsidiary unit. Contextual goals could be pacifying the uh, demands of the collective bargaining agents or the trade unions working in that particular subsidiary country. So contextual goals are related with performance in that particular situation in which the person is performing that particular task. So those goals are, again, they are very much subjective. So hard goals are objective, quantifiable, measurable. You can easily determine how much productivity has been there. Then soft goals, they become more subjective. It's not very easy to measure subjective traits or person-related traits. And then finally, contextual goals, they become even more subjective because they are affected by the environment in which the person is performing and therefore it must be taken into account how the environment is affecting that person and how much that person has got discretion to perform in that particular situation if the environment becomes extremely hostile volatile uh, if there is uh, if there is uncertainty Therefore, a person will not be able to perform even if he has the knowledge, skills, abilities, attitudes, motivation, everything in place. But if the environment is not continual or is not providing the opportunity, the person will not be able to perform. So the contextual goals, they become even more subjective. But these are the goals which are most important to achieve rather than the hard goals. So defining the criteria needs to take into account what types of goals are given to a person and how much subjectivity and object objectivity is there in that particular type of assignment.